How do you see this uh, early guard competition play now? Uh, guys mix and matching, and uh, you can't uh, get Isaiah Wynn yet in there, but uh, just what's your role and impression of how it's playing? Uh, it, you know, like you know how our, our philosophy in camp, you know, it's a process all the way till, you know, the end of the end of August. So, so far, you know, it's been a good, good competition. Guys getting through, getting opportunities to play. So, um, you know, with pads just coming on, I think that uh, the next couple of weeks will really reveal itself uh, also this year with the joint practices. So we'll have a bunch of stuff and really excited for, you know, next couple of weeks. How have you seen Liam progress over your time? I mean, just uh, the growth and knowledge of what we're trying to do, um, his growth in his technique and fundamentals. Yeah, just every year he gets uh, more confident and comfortable with how he wants to play, what he needs to do to be successful. So, uh, you know, the next couple of weeks with Pat's coming on more and having those opportunities, excited to see how he grows, and especially with the flexibility he's been able to have for us being able to play multiple spots has always been extremely valuable. And Robert Jones, same question. Yeah, uh, Rob's doing a great job, same thing. Growth in the system really helps understanding, you know, uh, second year line coach, same line coach, getting familiar and they all working together. So I think so far, done a good job so far in camp and really, you know, for the next couple of weeks, really excited to see where they go. How have you seen growth from Jalen and Waddle um, year over year? Uh, looks like to us he's having a pretty good camp. Yeah, just, I mean, it all starts with, you know, really being in tune to yourself and knowing what you're trying to accomplish, how you want to play. And he's done a great job of knowing how he wants to work his uh, techniques with inside the system and just getting better at, you know, his releases, uh, what he's trying to do at the top of the round. I mean, just overall, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for how hard him and Tyreek, they work at what they're doing. And Jalen really, uh, every day he's here, he's just trying to get better and he's so competitive. So I've uh, been really pleased with him so far and really excited for really the rest of camp to see the growth. With, with, without obviously giving away too much competitively, are there things you trust him to do now that maybe two years ago you were still, hey, we got to see this, this, and this, but now, boom, full package, you know, model? I don't know if it's necessarily trusting him doing this. I think it's more for him and just for everyone familiarity with what we're doing. So it's like you can start pushing the envelope for everyone just when you start moving into year three of like, hey, we can do this or uh, what if we did this? motion or alignment or something like that. I don't think it's necessarily him in year three. I think everyone in year three just gets a little bit more familiar with what's going on as opposed to your second year, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Third year, you're like, yep. And then you, you can take it to the next level. Along the same lines with a -Chan. he's in his second season here. How has he developed compared to this time last year? Uh, just your rookie year, you know, you're trying to take it all in and, you know, alignments, uh, formations, just everything. Uh, you can really see a growth of his understanding of the offense, uh, you know, where he fits in just overall in the, the, the run game, you know, how where he's trying to affect his aiming points, affect the defense, working together with the linemen, how it all fits together, and then in the passing game as well. It's just you can tell it's year two for him. He's really made uh, substantial growth, and I think this camp will really be good the next couple of weeks for him to continue to grow upon everything he's done. Is there anything he's done or any running back has done that might make you change your plan for how you will use running backs this year? Not, I mean, I don't think, like, right now you can't really say – it, I mean, it's easy to go, hey, today, and then what a today to where we try and take in, okay, what's our objective today? It's to grow, it's to get better, to make sure that we're improving upon our fundamentals and techniques that are going to play out for the whole season. So it's not necessarily like you make decisions today for long term as opposed to, okay, how am I going to work the short term right, for using the guys to give them opportunities to um, continue building their skills necessary for you know the long push starting in September. Follow up on that, Jalen Wright has mentioned he's watched a lot of Raheem Mostert development. How has he picked up the offense this, this game? Yeah, he's done he's, uh, the hardest part, uh, you know, running game uh, in our system is like, you know, it's a process to learn, uh, especially when you come from his offense to Tennessee, which is very different. But he, he works so hard and he is on it. He's with Eric all the time, really trying to understand the nuances to everything, you know, why. Our, our tracks and naming points, how they fit, his uh, where he's trying to run and what the line's trying to do, and then add in the pass game element. So 
he's done a great job. I mean, he is always working. I mean, I see him here all the time. He was here all summer, every day. I mean, he is putting in the effort. And, you know, the next couple of weeks, especially when you're a rookie back, they're vital. All these days of camp, allowing yourself to, to really understand, see where you fit in the equation, understand the different blocking schemes we use. So it's been good so far. I'm really excited for him the really next couple of weeks, especially when the preseason start, uh, Perhaps, game starts. How much do you need to see Odell um, before you can really gauge uh, what, you can, what you have in this offense? Um, well, I think it's a little easier sometimes when you have uh, veterans with that much experience. You you can kind of have a an understanding through watching the tape of them previously, kind of knowing what he brings, where he's at. The uh, um, whenever you know he uh, we get him in, we can start practicing. That'll be really what you do is you build the timing, right, in the in the the offense in the passing game, getting used to how he's seeing things with uh, you know the quarterbacks that connectivity. Um, but no, I, I think overall, uh, you know, we understand kind of what he brings to us, and we're excited when we can ever get him to the field. Frank, we saw you up there in the media room for the two uh, press conference. Uh, how much pride personally did you have in the fact that you, you got yourself, you know, fifty-three million dollar quarterback, and you guys helped make that happen? You helped it all. Uh, the most rewarding thing that we get as coaches, you know, in this industry is helping guys achieve. Uh, their goals, whether it's on the field or uh, financially and personally. So for him to uh, be able to have that, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. Just, I mean, he deserves it, how hard he works, everything and the investment he's put into the program. So really excited for now, going to work and get ready for the long push of the season. In the, in the last week, have you noticed, I don't know, lightness isn't the right word, but like his, now that that's cleared off his mind, his schedule or football with him, or is it always the case? Uh, he's very much he's focused on what he's trying to get better at, and he's, he's able to uh, come in and know, I need to use this opportunity to get better at what I need to do. So he's been very much staying, um, you know, on the mission at hand, you know, being present towards what needs to be accomplished today. But the big thing with him is uh, now, you know, with all that getting done, we can get to work, and, you know, the next couple of weeks with him are going to be really, really fun. Frank, anyone can see Tyreek's speed and the impact they think he has on this offense. What, what, what would you characterize it all encompassing and everything he does within every aspect of the Dolphins offense? Well, I think the big thing with him is just uh, his work ethic to how, when he goes and how diligent he is to everything he does. And, uh, you know, it's one thing to uh, be a fast player, but then also play fast, you know, whether it's practice and the game on Sunday. So, you know, having guys that like him to have that speed element it really helps us because it allows us to move guys everywhere to affect defenses because when you have a guy that uh, plays that way you know it forces a reaction on the other side so I mean just whenever he goes he's always on it and it's like we're very lucky and really excited for you know the rest of the couple of weeks to keep pushing the envelope with what we want to try and do this year anything else guys I just real, um, just real quick tackle play. We haven't asked you about the tackles yet. Uh, how have you seen? Obviously, we haven't seen much of Tron, uh, uh, you know, but how have you seen that group collectively? And Keon Smith, in particular, what has he done on the Yeah, it's uh, there's been some uh, really positive stuff we've seen through uh, understanding fundamentally what they're trying to do, especially in the run game uh, and the pass protection. You know, all the guys just being more comfortable in year two of the techniques that uh, Butch and them are really working on trying to, you know, set the pocket and understanding uh, where they're at and relative to our different protection schemes and uh, where the quarterback's at. So overall, I think they've done uh, a really good job of learning, growing. And then now, like, the biggest thing for O-line play is, like, when you get the pads back on because you're trying to stop a surface without pads that are, like, kind of, you can slide whatever. Now you got the pads. It gives you something to latch on to. So really now is when offensive line, you get used to the surface you're going to have to block. And that's where, you know, they really can, you know, get into the nitty gritty of things they need to do because it's just if you're hitting a surface, it's just your chest as opposed to you have pads and stuff you can grab. That's where really now, like, that's where we really put the work in, if that makes sense. Just a little different thought process. But so that's why the next couple of weeks of the pads are really important for us. And Keon in particular, I mean, he's a guy for us that kind of came out of nowhere, but uh, he was part of the plan last year. Yeah. Simply going forward. He, he's, you can see it in practice. And that's where it's like he shows, uh, 
you know, an ability to, with his movement, uh, with his set, just st stuff that we've really uh, enjoyed watching because it's like when you come out of a, uh, you know, kind of that development circle as an um, undrafted free agent, it's like it, sometimes it takes a, a little bit in the process, and when it clicks, it clicks. And that's why this year, it's, for him, it's going to be so important. But, yeah, so far it's been very encouraging. I think the next couple of weeks will really be overall important for the group. With Patrick, what do you think is the biggest teaching point he needs to still grasp? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily, like, one thing. I think the biggest thing is just, uh, you know, in how we operate and why we're doing what we're doing. And then, okay, here's why we're doing it. And then now how to do it consistently because it's like we have just more scheme variation than you do in college. So, I mean, he can pass protect. And then the run game, you can see he's uh, it's coming along. I think the biggest thing for him is just trusting the process because sometimes you get impatient and you want it to come now. And knowing that we got a long time before uh, the end of camp. And it's just making sure each day it's like you stay. You don't get frustrated as you're maybe learning um, – uh, something new, okay, well, when you learn something new, the first time you do it is going to be, you know, your worst as you get better. So I think with him, it'll just be trusting the process because from now until the end of August, I think that's where you're going to get your biggest growth, as, especially as a rookie. Time for a few more guys. Will you be okay with Tyreek and Waddle returning kickoffs? <laughs> Love my pick grade. <laughs> but I remember in a <clears throat> division one, Tyreek was catching punts and stuff and watching, looking back and going like, whoa. But I just worry about the offense. <laughs> One last question, guys. The running back room overall, more speed than you had last year. Certainly guys that you've seen more of last year. Just better feeling about it this year compared to last year? Or is it just the same old every year? Yeah, I think it's, you know, we have a good group of guys we're really excited about. I think it's always just, at this time of year, I'm always like, it's, we got a lot of growth to do, more times in pads, more times yeah. where everyone's getting used to things. So that's why, as you know, in my situation, I'm sitting there going, we got a long way to go before we really you know what we got. You, you have an encouraging signs of things, but, you know, the one thing this year is we have uh, veterans who understand uh, how to play, what's necessary. You know, Devon coming in a year or two and Jalen, like, it's really encouraging. But the same thing, we've got a long way to go before we really uh, – can say, hey, this is what we're going to be and how we're going to use it. But really encouraging so far.